Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Tuesday, and that means we are using Plaguelicious Ubel. So hopefully we can get some plague spreader effects on with the malicious and make abuels and just just go ham because that's pretty much what this deck does. Well, along with like you know Supervised Ubel, but decks that can make beals with Ubel is just good. Yay, Ultimate Nightmare again. Oh, that is the that is the what third time in a row. If you guys are wondering if we're ever going to get an episode where we're not going to draw a form of Ubel, you're, you're sadly mistaken. We are going to draw a form of Ubel every episode. Every single episode. And lately it's been a lot of Ultimate Nightmare. A lot of Ultimate Nightmare. It's like it's like they rotate. Sometimes I get a lot of Ubel, then I get a lot of Terror, then now I'm getting a lot of Ultimate. So next set, it'll be just, you know, regular Ubel, which is obviously the worst one to draw, because unless you have Dark Refer, it's kind of stuck in your hand, because we only run one of each Ubel now. I mean, I used to run two, because I didn't want to, you know, if I drew the first form, then, you know, I could always go on again and send the other form, but definitely now... Oh my god, I'm so tired of dueling against Light Swords. Seems like I do, it seems like I duel against Light Swords at least once a week. At least once a week. Like, I'm getting real tired of dueling against Light Swords. Ugh. Like, you don't even know. Like, you can't eat them. Getting real sick and tired of dueling with lights. Uh, du uh, dueling against Light Swords. And I also got sick and tired of dueling with Light Swords, obviously, not, and not being on daily duels anymore. So. But of course, I'll probably be facing this before and as soon as the structure deck comes out, and then. More after that, where people will drop the JD, win the duel, and then, you know, pronounce themselves hot shit. That's fine. Oh my god, ow. That hurt, that hurt. Uh, I was, I'm sorry, I was face palming so fucking hard that it literally felt like my hand was gonna go through my goddamn face. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, that hurt. I mean, I had to do it. I mean, I have to do it. I swear to god. Just draw, just, just, just. I saw your guys' comments. You guys want this, you want this series to be on, on Dev Pro. I don't blame you. The only thing is, uh, A, I gotta put, take all the decks and put them on there. And then B, uh, frickin', no, I don't, I don't want to do against Light Storms. My hand is way too shitty. And he's obviously gonna go for Michael. He's literally just gonna pitch, summon right and make a Michael and banish my U-Bell. So fuck it. Fuck okay, it, my hand was already too shitty enough. And I'm probably like five seconds off from getting harassed on here, just like usual, so. <laughs> also... Another thing that I'm worried about is losing my interaction with you guys. You know, you guys come in, you guys watch my duels. Once in a bloom and I duel you. Yay, shitty hand. That's not a surprise. It's not a surprise at all that I got a shitty hand. I'm shocked. Shitty hand. Yeah. Tomorrow's episode, we're going to go ahead and do Vitamin Y on Death Pro. I'll slowly but surely just, you know, move all the decks to there. Okay. Okay. What the hell does this card do? Oh, okay. Hmm, I drew on get a night at least. That's not bad. I can at least get set up for next turn. So that said something about if this card destroys your sense, you must have sent to the graveyard. Flick damage to your opponent equal to the life. Just... Oh, okay, I guess. So I just go ahead and send Mally. So next turn, we can make a Beals. Not a bad play, it's not a terrible play. I'll keep that in my hand. Go ahead. You know, who would think that you'd be getting your butt kicked by Shinata? 
not me. So we're gonna try it. Like I said, uh, the only thing that I don't like is losing the interaction with you guys. That it's much harder to find me on Vepra than it is on DN. You know, you log in DN, I'm on. You know, I'm obviously I'm on. I'm recording, so that makes it much easier for you guys. So, like I said, I do apologize. I don't want it to be like that, but that's just what we're going to be doing. This card destroys... Yeah, but say, you didn't destroy a defense position monster. I was in attack. Destroy that one. That's what I thought. You didn't try to burn me. That's cute. Alright. Oh, I'm going to go... Mally Effect. I'm going to go ahead and banish a Mally to go ahead and summon a Mally. I'm going to go Normal Summon Plague. Go Sync 8. We will go ahead and go for Beals. We will go Mally Effect. Sure, you're gonna fiendish chain my beals. Uh, how do I feel about that? That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Mali effect. Let me go ahead and. Oh, my bad. Banish this Mali to go ahead and get this Mali. Go plague effect. Okay. Put that on top. Go ahead and summon plague. We will go ahead and think about sinking eight. Then no, no. It's because someone uses a deck doesn't mean that everybody uses that deck full. I can go for scrap dragon. Then I can go ahead and yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I'll go ahead and sink eight. So you go. You get banished. Go ahead and revive Scrap Dragon. I mean, not revive, sorry, summon Scrap Dragon. Uh, then I can go ahead and activate Call the Haunted. Summon uh, Maui. I can then go Escape. Summon Plague. Sync it again. So I would go back to the grave instead of getting banished this time. And then I will summon another Beals. I can just go so ham right now. I swear to God I can. I'll go ahead and go scrap effect. I'll get rid of this call for Yoshinato. Uh, then I will go ahead and lance my thing. That will be 3,028 and 22. Right, 22 is 5,000. That's, that's, that's exactly 8,000. On the beals that you chained. 22. 22, 28, 3,000. That's exactly 8,000. 28. Yep. And, uh, and, you know, this time, we opened up hella broke. If we had, had one more card, we could have went for another one, because we could have went activate DDR, pitch, summon, and then uh, play, put the card back, and then summon again, and sync date again. But, <sighs> surprisingly, that went fairly well. You know, it started off like shit, but as soon as we got that Armageddon Knight, we got to set up, then, you know, that things are going to go okay. Well. <clears throat> Well, uh, this time it's not that bad to draw Terra, because at least it gave me a dark. At least it gave me a dark. You know, I don't mind drawing you Bell as long as I have Dark Greffer in my hand. People are like, why do you play three Dark Greffers? You won't always have a dark target in my hand. Shit, the way that I draw you Bell? Yes, I will. Alright, I'm guessing it's fine, because the person's not responding. Go ahead and put you belts in a gray. Go ahead and set the limit reverse and pass to you. Sure. Four. 
I always call form as reasoning. No. No. Mill them. Mill the cards. Mill them to the, to the graveyard. Is that what you got? Was that the first monster? Okay, well then you get nothing. Because I called four and it, and it hit four, so you get nothing. Your reasoning is gone. Sure, I'll take the 400. I don't care. I do limit reverse, and we'll summon you bell. You bell. Ugh, why do I say it like that? Of course, I draw ultimate. So that's two you bell forms that I drew this duel. Of course, it couldn't be anything else that I draw. Nope, had to be you bell. This is gone. Like that's that's already that's done. You can go ahead. That's not continuous. Reasoning is not continuous. You activate it, it resolves, it goes to the graveyard. Put it in the grave. Put it in the grave. Go ahead. Get it off the field. It's not continuous. Thank you. Uh, there's really no point in me doing that. So I'll just go you bell effects. Oh, you know it. Oh, shit. He actually knows it. It's a Christmas miracle up in this bitch. So now what? If you're running Sabre Dragons, they're gonna have a hard time getting around my Ubel. Dark Hole! Sure! Fact. I'm nagging myself out of my damn hand, because of course I drew all two nightmare, but hey, still. About to summon it. Like I said, it's not like I can't summon you bell again. Or ag again and again, so. Summon you bell all the damn time. I wonder if that's D Prison. I really, I don't care if it is D Prison. Attack. This card is strong about. You destroy my card effect. You take 1,000. And it's destroyed. You're destroyed by card effect, not by battle, so no effect for you. Sorry. You're destroyed by the effect of you, Bell. I'll go ahead and set this and pass to you. No. You were destroyed by you Bell's effect, not by battle. Clearly says right there. We're destroyed by battle. Now I'm just drawing all the revival. Shit. I'm gonna put you Bell back in defense mode in case I get, in case he tries to summon 101. Why'd I set that other call? There's no point. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It makes an excited on night, I will get wiped. I mean of course I'll go ahead and chain. I mean, of course, if it does excite on me, I will chain Call of the Haunted so I can summon you Bell. Everybody get ripe, but at least I get Terror again. So it's not that bad, but I shouldn't have set the second call. There's no point. You know, the best thing I can call right now is Dark Greffer, so I can pitch, but I need a Dark. Wow, okay, you can just keep drawing the, all the Revival. Revival's great and all, but, you know, I need a little bit of setup so I can do into, go into some other plays. Rota, awesome. I will take that. I will take a Rota. Rota, Rota, Rota. See Rota. I have not talked to her in a cool minute. I, I'm i not sure really what happened to her. Uh, facts. We will go ahead and drop Mally. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and call. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and call. Yep, I'm going to call. Go ahead and call. Summon Dark Greffer. I will go ahead and... Overlay into level of chain. I will get my effect on bottomless. Sure. Sure. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and overextend a little bit more. I'm up on resources, so sure. Go ahead and go effect. The monster was not. Destroyed. Uh, dest 
factoid. It was used as an exe material, so call stace. So I'll go ahead and go f uh, Armageddon effect. I will go ahead and drop. Okay. Because you were clicking my shit, like, like you wanted to do something. Maui effect. You saw, you saw that? He was all clicking it. He was like, ch -ch 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 banish the Maui. Summon the Maui. Plague effect. We will go ahead and put. Mm, we'll put this on top of the deck. And we'll summon Plague. He's already used Dark Hole, didn't he? Yes, he did. So we'll go ahead and sync. Eight. So this gets banished. This goes to the grave. And we will go ahead and summon Beals. Beals! Nice and powerful. Set these two. And I'm not really worried about getting 101, so I'll turn you to attack just in case he wants to drop like a trag or a gorse or something. I'll have something to eat. With Ultimate Nightmare, it'll be nice and tasty. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Can you get out of this situation, sir? You already used Dark Hole, and even if you Dark Hole, still got Beals, so. What situation? You can special summon Cyber Dragon, normal summon, uh, Sway, I think his name is. Go up to 5 and make a Pleiades. That'd be a nice play. Rota, what you wrote it in for? Rota is nice and powerful. Get you out of Marauding Captain. You gonna Marauding Captain lock me? That would be cute. Sure. 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 Yep. Marauding Captain lock. That would be pretty easy to break. Four. Mill them! You mill the cards! Okay, that's fine. And stop drawing them! Mill them! That was a special summon, so you don't get your effect. You want to go into something? I don't really care. There's not really a sync aid or anything that can stop me right now. If I really wanted to and I wanted to be a cute little dude, I could go ahead and go escape, summon him, and then sync Armageddon Knight with the Plague Spreader to create Vulcan, bounce a call, bounce one of his cards back. But nope, he just wants to pass it to me. Oh, like I didn't know I was going to draw that. How many Mallies do I have left? I got Mally one more time. Yeah, I got Mally one more time. One more time! So we'll go ahead and go Mally effect. <coughs> no, not defense. I meant to click banished. Banish to go ahead and summon Mally. One more thing. Summon you. Activate escape. Go ahead and summon you. Go ahead and sink eight. So you go to the grave and you go back to the grave. And we'll go ahead and what's this say? When this when that target is destroyed, show this card. Nope, it wasn't destroyed, so that's stuck too. Scrap dragon. You know what I can do is actually pretty cute. Oh, he's just gonna quit. If I had room, I could go ahead and activate limit reverse, summon Mally. Uh, summon Debris. Debris target a monster with 500 attack or less in defense mode. I mean, 500 attack or less and special summon it in face of attack position. Oh, uh, that's Plague Spreader. Summon Plague Spreader. Sink again. Then I could overlay these two. I, I had a lot more plays. Like, that, that, I, I had it. Whew, see, this deck works really well. When it works really well. But when you start drawing multiple Yabels and shit, that's when it starts sucking. So, like I said, uh, tomorrow... I'm going to go ahead and try, I'm going to take the u -E deck, put it on deck pro, and re just record there, and see how it works there. Maybe I won't draw you bell as often. <laughs> we'll find out. So I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode, so thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with u -E Thanks for watching.